Welcome. Today here on Two Minutes, we're having a very special, most powerful Oprah Winfrey. Woo! Yeah, Oprah. Woo! Thank you, Smitty. Ah, how are you doing, Oprah? Very good. Thank you for having me. So, Oprah, where were you born? I was born in the wonderful city of Kosciuszko, Mississippi, but I was also raised in Milwaukee. That's interesting. So, where did you go to college? I went to Tennessee State University. Go Tigers! So, uh, what were your inspirations? Well, you know, I really didn't have much growing up as a child. Um, one of my main things I wanted to do is, ever since I was a little baby, I wanted to, I wanted to change the world. I, didn't, you know, I wanted to inspire millions of people through my broadcasting. Like my buddy, my buddy Obama, he's the president. He's, like he said, yes we can, yes we can. And I've, I've been able to do that. It's very heartwarming. Yes, it's very heartwarming. So how did your career in entertainment begin? Well, at the age of 19, um, I became the anchor for a news company in Nashville. Um, actually, I was the first African-American woman to be a news anchor in Nashville. I mean, yeah, that's how, that's how it all started. That's a, that's a great way to start. So, tell us about your friend, Dr. Phil. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you about that fool. Let's just, let's just say he is bunny. What is bunny? Let's not go into too much detail. Okay, I won't. So, on another hand, tell us how you got into the movie, The Color Purple. Oh, that's a great question. Well, what, um, there's a man, his name's Quincy Jones. Um, he saw me on one of my televis television shows. And he's, he thought I'd be a great actress for a movie he was producing with my boy Steven Spielberg. And I said, you know what? Why not? I'll give it a shot. Oh, you know, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Thank you. So how'd you work up to having your own TV show that changed so many millions of people's lives? Oh, the Oprah show? Well, yeah. um, when, I moved, when I moved to Chicago after Nashville, um, I got the opportunity to anchor a morning talk show called AM Chicago. And then a few things got switched around, and then BOOM! It was the Oprah Winfrey Show. You know? Good. Wow. You know, that's really interesting. Yes, it is. So, many say that your real name isn't Oprah? Please explain. S some say it is so. Um, you know, when I was born, my parents gave me... They gave me the first name, Orpa. Truth is, nobody in my family could even say it. So I had to get it changed, and I went by Oprah. Wow, that's really interesting. It is. So, tell us about your uh, running with cocaine in the 70s. I did do dope. I did do cocaine. I did do cocaine. Cocaine. But, you know, that's the past. Uh, I did it with my boyfriend in the 70s. But hey, that's the past. I learned from my mistakes. Never going there again. Never going there again. Well, okay then. Um, so, how would you describe yourself as the most powerful person in the world? Well, you know, the, when I first got my show, when I first started doing the Oprah show, started to get to the point where my show was number one, and then I realized it. I can really influence many people's lives. So what I started doing is I started taking, taking everything outside of the show. I started giving to the community, giving, just giving to everybody. And, you know, some of it, some say it made me rich, number one on the Forbes list, but hey, it's not what I'm about. I'm all about helping people, making this place a better world, and you know, power, right? Power is the ability to change change lives. That's what I think, why I'm considered one of the most powerful people in the world. Wow, so I guess you are very powerful. Oh, um, I am. So I'm being told you have a, a new song? Yes, and I'm actually going to play it for you guys right now. Um, just grab my guitar, I'm Oprah Winfrey, this song is called I'm open with free. Some say I change many people's lives, but I can't say they're wrong. I got my own television show. I 
can't 